Hola mi gente, Ms. Malcolm Hughes here. Welcome, welcome back. And today I wanna to come and share another poem with you all. This one is titled Gwendolyn Brooks by Haki Marubudi. For those of you not familiar, Haki Marubudi is an African-American author, educator, and poet. He's also a publisher and operator of a black themed bookstore. He is often most recognized for founding Third World Press in 1967, and Third World Press is considered the oldest independent Black publishing house in the United States. So if you're not familiar with Haki, please check him out. Um, I know him from growing up in Chicago. He was also a professor at my undergraduate university at the time. He's just a renowned and impressive human being. Um, if you're not familiar with him, you should check him out. He also has a book titled Yellow Black, which is about the first 21 years of his life. Um, and he's formerly known as Don Ellie. So definitely, definitely check out Haki and his work. Very impressive. Definitely check out Third World Press. You will definitely find some good Black literature there. And he wrote this poem about Gwendolyn Brooks. And if you're not familiar with who Gwendolyn Brooks is, she is one of my favorite writers. Um, really know her again from Chicago. She's known for writing a lot about Bronzeville, but she was an American poet, author, and teacher. And then it, her work was really known for dealing with the celebrations and struggles of people in her community and her neighborhood, specifically Bronzeville in Chicago. And she won the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1950 for her work, Annie Allen. And she was the first African-American to receive a Pulitzer Prize. So two impressive people, one writing about the other. So again, Black History Month. So if you're not familiar, definitely check out both of their works. But now let's get into the reading of the poem. She doesn't wear costume jewelry. And she knew that Walt Disney was, is making a fortune off false eyelashes, and that Time magazine is the authority on the Negro. Her makeup is total real. A Negro English instructor called her a fine Negro poet. A white critic said, she's a credit to the Negro race. Somebody else called her a pure Negro writer. Johnny May, who's a senior in high school said, she and Langston are the only Negro poets we've read in school and I understand her. Pee Wee used to carry one of her poems around in his back pocket, the one about being cool. That was before Pee Wee was cooled by a cop's warning shot. Into the 60s, a word was born, black. And with black came poets, and from the poet's ball points came black, double black, purple black, blue black, been black, was black, day before yesterday, blacker than ultra black, super black, black black, yellow black, nigger black, Black white man, black than you ever bees, one fourth black, unblack, cold black, clear black. My mama's blacker than your mama, pimple black fall. Black so black, we can't even see you. Black on black and black by black, technically black, man tan black, winter black, cool black, 360 degrees black, cold black, midnight black, black when it's convenient, rusty black, moon black, black star black, summer black, electron black, spaceman black. Shoe shine black, gym shoe black, underwear black, ugly black, Aunt Jemima black, Uncle Ben's rice black, Willie Best black, black is beautiful black. I just discovered black Negro, black unsubstance black. And everywhere the lady Negro poet appeared, the poets were there. They listened and questioned and went home feeling uncomfortable, unsound, and so untogether. They read, reread, wrote, and rewrote, and came back the next time to tell the lady Negro poet how beautiful she was or is, and how she helped them, and she came back with how necessary they were, and how they've helped her. The poets walked, and a space filled the vacuum between them and the lady Negro poet. You could hear one of the Black poets say, bro, they've been calling that sister by the wrong name. And that was... Gwendolyn Brooks by Haki Marubudi from Don't Cry Scream, which came out in 1969 through Third World Press. That's what I wanted to come on here and share y'all. A couple of videos that are upcoming on the channel. I will have my review of The Poppy War. I will also have my February 
reading recap where I talk about the books that I read this month and give some additional thoughts on where I landed with everything. And then we'll also have the video for the books that I will be reading in March. So a lot of material coming to the channel. I hope that you all will stick around and check it out. That is it for me today. As always, I am Miss Malcolm Hughes, one who believes that books are sometimes better than people. And until the next one, please remember to give time time, to be kind to each other, and to have the very best day of your life on purpose. Peace, odabo, adios, ciao.